Hi everyone, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and another edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs, the show where we give you all the biggest news about Tottenham Hotspur every single day. First up today, our former manager, Appiari Redknapp, has had a massive rant today uh, about the standard of Premier League scouting. And he's used our man, our great star, our hope, Deli Ali, as the example. He has said, why weren't the big clubs, as in the bigger clubs, the top four clubs, in for someone like Deli Ali at five million pounds? He was League One player of the, uh, Young Player of the Year. He was scoring goals and assists every week. He said that he sent his QPR goalkeeping coach, Kevin Hitchcock, over to see Deli Ali at Milton Keynes. And every week he would come back and say that he is an absolute superstar. So what Harry's saying is, why was it left to Tottenham and the brilliant Paul Mitchell to go in and buy Deli Ali for five million pounds when some of those bigger clubs could be taking him there and not spending all their money on foreign players. I think it's a good point from Harry. Frankly, obviously I'm delighted that they didn't because now, as Harry says, Deli Ali is worth more than 20 million pounds and is gonna be a brilliant star for us for years to come. But I like what he's saying. He's saying basically the foreign teams, uh, sorry, the foreign players all go to the English big top four teams because those managers and those scouts are too scared to take a risk on young British talent. And that's something that I have to say Props to Daniel Levy for getting in Pochettino and for getting in Paul Mitchell because they will take those risks and give those players the chances that are showing now with players like Deli Ali and Eric Dyer doing well, not just for Spurs, but for England as well. That brings me on nicely to my second point. Roy Hodgson, the England manager, has also been praising Spurs and particularly Maurizio Pochettino for believing in English talent. Roy has spoken openly about how he much prefers going to see Spurs than some of the bigger uh, top four clubs because he can go and see Spurs and see five English players sometimes in the one match. He talked about how when he goes to see Arsenal or Manchester City or Manchester United, often there are hardly any English players on the pitch and that doesn't do anything for him whatsoever. He says, what's the point in him going to those games when he can't see any of the players that he can pick? Totally agree, Roy. Like I said in the first bit of news, you know, Spurs is a place where we give a chance to those young developing English players and if England are ever to, going to be good, it's going to be because of Spurs, let's face it. Finally today, club legend Argentinian Ozzy Ardiles has come out and said that he thinks Eric Dyer has been the best Spurs player this season. Now, this is a complete surprise to everyone, isn't it? Because let's face it, only a few months ago, we thought we needed another defensive midfielder. We needed someone like Wanyama or Axel Witzel. But Eric Dyer's done a brilliant job and Ozzy has seen it. He was a creative player, Ozzy, but he knows a good player when he sees one. He also praised Deli Ali and Harry Kane, but he says he's been most surprised and most impressed by Eric Dyer. And I completely agree. What a fantastic season he's having. Future Spurs captain, if you ask me. Potentially a future England captain and just that kind of player you need to protect your back four. And because of it, Jan Vertonghen, for instance, has looked a much better player. Carl Walker's looked a much better player because he's getting that protection that last season we didn't really get quite so well. Anyway, guys, let us know if you agree or what you think about those news stories. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. It was an incredible performance from Spurs. Arsenal will be looking at themselves right now. They'll be saying, you know, we've got nine or ten injuries.